For the first time in many years, a canal in Paris was emptied, and what was discovered was somewhat strange. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. One of the most ancient locations in this stunning city is the Canal Saint-Martin in Paris, France. However, the authorities in Paris were unaware that there were secrets concealed beneath the surface of the water. After 15 years, when they emptied the canal, they discovered some amazing historical mysteries. The roughly five kilometers of the Canal Saint-Martin are drained by the French city of Paris once every 15 years or so. However, they hadn't carried out this action since 2001, and it quickly became evident that, in order to support the neighborhood's businesses, it was necessary to do so once more. The region has become a tourist destination and hangout for Bobos, a subset of the bourgeois bohemian community who live a lifestyle similar to that of hipsters. There are also a lot of new cafes, hip pubs, and unusual eateries in this area. But Napoleon had other plans for the canal than to draw tourists. The canal was ultimately finished and served a function in 1825 after being commissioned by Napoleon Bonaparte, the future French emperor. The population of Paris was expanding rapidly at the time, which contributed to the spread of illnesses like dysentery and cholera. For all the wrong reasons, the canal ended up being the city's savior. By keeping the streets clean, Bonaparte anticipated that the fresh water would slow the development of many illnesses. He levied a wine tax on the populace to finance the construction of the canal, and soon the magnificent work got underway. The Canal Saint-Denis the Bassin de la Villette, the Canal de l'Orque, and last but not least, the Canal Saint-Martin, were among the network of canals. The networks eventually resulted in the development of something that altered the Parisian economy. Two ports were built as a result of Canal Saint-Martin, allowing vessels to reach the city and provide residents with food and building materials. This boosted Paris's economy and provided them an advantage in the commerce sector. However, a few decades ago, the canal was on the verge of being demolished. The idea of totally filling in the canal and paving it over to create a freeway was considered by municipal officials in the 1960s. Thankfully, that never came to pass, and now the beautiful waterway has a new use. Locals transformed the canal side banks into a vibrant cultural center, with several clubs where visitors frequently go to party or stroll to the neighboring bridges to snap some very memorable selfies. However, until the canal was emptied, nobody could have predicted the regrettable side consequence of the population increase. With every year that went by, the region surrounding Canal Saint-Martin was being transformed by people from all over the world into something that was quite different from what Napoleon had envisioned all those decades before. The bottom of the canal had turned into a type of time capsule filled with abandoned goods when it was last emptied in the early 2000s, according to the workers. While some of them were worthless, others may have been placed in a museum. Among the many objects discovered at the bottom of the canal were gold coins, two World War I shells measuring 75 millimeters, and a few less intriguing but nonetheless peculiar objects such as washing machines. However, this was hardly the most peculiar item they had previously discovered. About 50 automobiles have been found and hauled out since the city began emptying the canal. However, when they returned in 2016 to empty the canal, what did they discover that was so startling? The workmen began the cleansing process by entering the canal bed once it had been emptied. They were aware that the procedure wouldn't be simple, but it was necessary. Before long, the water level was so low that some residents believed a miracle was taking place. The fact that their priceless waterway was empty as of right now surprised the locals. Because the water was just ankle high, some people could actually cross the canal without worrying about drowning. However, they would not have dared to enter these murky waters if they had known what lay beneath the canal. For years, people had been tossing motorcycles and mopeds into the canal, where they stayed submerged until the workmen dug them out. However, there was a rationale behind the extreme measures these people took with their cars. A few of the bicycles and mopeds seemed as though they had been tossed in quite recently, while others had been there for a while. However, the majority of the objects appeared to have a history of some kind. Things that were quite old and rich in history had been discovered by the workers. 
They symbolize the city's varied past as well as one of its most recent developments. They weren't just abandoned garbage. Paris introduced Vélib, the biggest bike-sharing program in the city, with 1,800 bicycle stations and a fleet of more than 20,000 bicycles. The workmen discovered more than just Vélib's bicycles, which appeared to be a problem along the canal. Numerous chairs, grocery carts, dustbins, fire extinguishers, and other objects like umbrellas and even street signs were discovered by the workers. Additionally, they discovered a number of objects that endangered the nearby fauna. Many water bottles were found in the muddy bottom of this well-known stream, and the workers' discovery of additional trash didn't sit well with the residents. The previous time, I don't recall seeing that much junk in there a public sector employee who was there for the 2001 cleaning told The Guardian. I give up. It's being used as a trash can by the Bobos, unlike the other times the canal was emptied. The worker was correct when he said that the canal had become a dustbin since it took a long time to pick everything up. Scanning the whole canal and removing every piece of trash that people had thrown in since the last cleanup took an estimated three months. It's difficult to believe that anything could have existed in the canal at that period, especially because tractors were sent in to aid with the cleanup effort. Prior to beginning the cleanup, the workers entered the canal using large nets to capture the fish that were residing there. With little time, they had to ensure that every fish was identified before transporting them to a more secure area. For the city, the cleaning process was expensive. Even though it ultimately cost them more than $10 million, it was worthwhile to make sure that one of Paris's most famous canals wouldn't continue to be a landfill. A politician recognized a significant opportunity when she observed the project was receiving a lot of media attention. Deputy Mayor of Paris Celia Blauel asked the locals to refrain from discarding trash into the Canal Saint-Martin and offered an incentive. If they did so, the canal would soon be clean enough for swimming. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.